I'll show you how to save your project in iMovie to be able to continue working on it later. So you can see here's my project, the work that I've done, my media is up here. I'm going to click on File, Open Library, New, and I'll say Gates Final Movie. I'll save it to my desktop so it's easy to find and click Save. So I just set up a new library so I can save just this project that I'm working on in case there's other iMovie da data on the computer. I'm now going to click on my project media up here and I'll select that and drag that down to Cade's final movie so that it saves all of my video clips in this library. The other thing that I'm going to have to do is go back to the projects view and this is the one that I've been working on here, Cade's film. I'm going to click this little menu icon and say copy to library and I need to copy it to the library that I'm saving to now which is Cade's final movie. And now that I've done that this file right here, Cade's final movie, has all of the data that I need to keep working on my project. Um, you should realize though that your iMovie project um, won't work in different versions of iMovie and so if you start the project on a computer it might not work on the next computer that you um, want to work on but at least you'll have the file saved so that you can go back to the original computer and continue working on it there. So now that I have this file saved I've opened up a folder in my Google Drive for iMovie projects and I'm just going to drag this in here and it will upload and it will probably take about a minute to finish uploading. When you're ready to work on it on the computer again I'll show you how to get it back onto your computer so I'll use Brandon's iMovie as an example. You need to make sure that you can see the whole folder. Um, this is what it looks like inside of Brandon's folder you need to back up a step and look at the entire folder. Um, then you'll right click on it, click download, and it's going to make a zip file. And now that that file is zipped and downloaded, I can see it here in my browser. If you don't see it here, you can go to the downloads folder on your computer and you should be able to find it. I'll just double click on it and that unzips it. So here you can see the zipped file, here's the unzipped file. I'll double click on this one and it will open my project in iMovie. Um, it's probably not going to work here because we're using different versions of iMovie. Uh, looks like we're lucky with this one, it did work. Um, if it doesn't bring up your project right away, you can just navigate back to your project screen and you should be able to find the project that you just imported. And then you double click on it here and it will open up the project that you're working on. When you're ready to save, um, all of this is now being saved um, to this file. So I can continue using that or I could go back to the beginning of this video, create a new library, copy the project into that library, um, copy the media into that library, and resave that. One more thing that you'll want to be aware of is um, the upload for my movie file worked. Sometimes you'll get a little warning sign here that will say that your project couldn't be uploaded. You need to make sure that you have exited out of iMovie before you try to upload your file to Google Drive. If iMovie has the file open, it won't let you um, save it to a new location. Even if you have iMovie closed, occasionally I've been getting a little warning where it will say like one file has failed to upload um, and there will just be a retry button right here. You just click on that, it will re-download just that one file and it will only take, it will only take like five seconds to do that and then you'll be good to go.